Hello my friend, this is especially for you who find yourself standing at death door. You have either been given a diagnosis which makes you aware that you have very little life left or you are living with somebody who is in that situation which can be equally challenging and difficult. When death comes into our lives in this very real way where we know that the body is coming to its end and it won't be able to accommodate the continuation of life for very much longer, there is a terrifying feeling that nothing is possible any longer. There is the horrible feeling that there is a shadow over all of our lives. It is the epitome of feeling depression descending on us, a feeling that everything will end, everything becomes impossible, all the things that were good and we were hoping for are no longer available. It's really, really hard. If you are standing by the death door yourself and you are going to die for sure, then it becomes very, very important to clear your mind of any worries Meet with those people you want to resolve something with and then focus on you. Focus on your peace of mind and on the continuity you will need to find between this life and where you're going, whatever that is. The dive into that deep ocean of nothingness, oblivion, another world, we have no idea. But whatever it is, is going to be a huge transition and a letting go of what you're used to. That we do know. So you need to prepare yourself for that and not be afraid of it. You need to have faith that if you have lived as well as you could, that this moment now, you will be ready to plunge into the unknown and to embrace whatever is to come. Because that flowing of your life is not an ending. That is a flowing into something new, something different, something further, something more, even if it is like sleep, even if it is nothing, the end. It still will be different. It will be a transition. And to let yourself drift into that transition is quite an art. You need to start preparing for that. And if you are living with somebody in that situation, you need to prepare yourself to be able to stand with them by the door of death and hold their hand and be calm and be loving and be caring and make room for the peace that they need to enter into this different state of being or non-being. It's about letting go. It's about stopping worrying 
releasing your anxieties, giving in, and knowing or expecting that something, somehow, will lift you up, take care of you, and take you to where you need to be going. And I hope, my friend, that this will be a good experience for you. It's taboo to think about it in that way. We all fear death. But why, really? It will be something new, an adventure, a transition, an expedition into the unknown for you to let yourself drift into or to accompany the other into that space and then walk back again and live some more. And maybe this is what you will do yourself. Maybe you think you're dying and you're not yet ready for that and maybe there is more time for you to live some more yet again. So facing death is very much also about asking yourself what have you learned from your life? What have you learned from this process called living? And how do you allow that knowledge to surround you, to allow you to settle into that and to trust that it's all been for the best, that you've done the best you could no matter what mistakes you have made, no matter what loose ends there still are, you've done your bit and now it's time for a rest. And you must know how to do that best. You've gone to sleep many times. Now you're going into the big sleep. Allow yourself to drift with the river that will lead you to the ocean. Allow yourself to drift into the big sleep that will look after you. Let it be a good moment. Let it be a relinquishing of pain, a letting go of tension, and a loving embracing of whatever it is, whatever mystery that lies beyond that frontier that you are about to transgress. It's an amazing thing, my friend. It comes to us all. But when it comes, let's be ready for it. Let's welcome it. Let's be at peace with it. Let's release ourselves into it. May all the good things of this world surround you at that final moment. May all the goodness that you've shared with the world stay with you on your journey. May you be at peace. May you be the best you can be in the end. Breathe and let those last breaths be full, full of love and understanding of what you're leaving behind and full of curiosity for what is to come. Be loving towards yourself. Be loving towards the life you leave behind. And be loving of the sleep, the eternal, the nothing, 
the being you will now merge into. Merge. Let yourself merge, my friend. You've done all you can. Be careful. Be gentle. Be very, very gentle. 